My name's Jeff Makarevich, and welcome to Wine and Dine with Jeff, where I'll make a healthy dinner from start to finish and pair it with wines from around the world. Let's fill up that glass. Hi, my name's Jeff Makarevich, and welcome to Wine and Dine with Jeff. Today, we're doing this lime coconut salmon that is out of this world delicious. I'm telling you, it's my new favorite way to prepare salmon, and I'm pairing it with this Pinot Grigio from Italy, Talato. You will definitely, definitely love it. Let's get started here. We have some two, a whole pound of salmon fillets. I'm just gonna salt and pepper right at first. And what I love to use in the salmon is a thick cut. I think it's important in this to try to find a thick cut because sometimes I think that the thinner cut fillets of salmon, they just overcook too fast because what we're gonna do, we're gonna put a quick sear on these and let them finish in that lime coconut sauce. So, Let's get the burner on. I have some coconut oil in the pan and let that burner heat up. Now that our pan is warmed up and pretty high heat, it's on a medium high, on coconut, I have coconut oil in the pan. And because I'm using a seasoned cast iron and not a non-stick, once they hit the pan, don't touch them because they're immediately gonna stick to the pan. Uh, so let it go and it will release in about two to three minutes and there'll be a very, very nice sear. I have it on a medium high heat because I want to just sear the outside just to get a nice little caramelization. I want it still to be raw in the middle and we'll finish cooking them in the sauce. It's only been two minutes and I want to flip. As you can see, the color change starting to come up. Now we don't want to finish cooking these all the way through, remember? Look at that nice little caramelization color. Now we're just going to do one minute on the side, and that is it. And then we're going to remove it from the pan. It will still be raw in the middle. Now we just removed our salmon and if you have extra oil, you want to take the oil out at this time. Uh, leave yourself a good tablespoon at least to cook these veggies. So what I'm throwing in is what we chopped up was that red jalapeno. Uh, so just want to move it around in the pan and you want to turn this pan down on a low at this point in time. So you want to let it cool down a little bit just so your ginger and your garlic does not burn. And so now that went in. Now going in is our ginger and garlic paste. A tablespoon of each, but you know all the exact measurements are right down below in the description center for you. Just move this around the pan. The more you move around the pan, uh, the actual garlic and ginger won't burn. It's a good tip. If you just keep everything moving, this goes really super, super fast. Uh, since it's in paste form, just like this, and it's hitting this nice hot, hot oil. And I, what I love about this meal, it comes together so fast. You could have this on the table in a matter of 20 minutes. I'm telling you, it's that quick, and it's so, so delicious. It really is. Okay, so we'll let that go. And now what we're going to add in, since the ginger and garlic has cooked out, we're going to add in our coconut milk. And what I love, I use the full of fat coconut milk. It's what I love. It's a natural fat. It's coming from a fruit, right? And just a little bit of brown sugar going in it's not going to make everything sweet 
it's just going to balance everything out and we'll just let that come up to a simmer and then we'll add our fresh fresh lime juice and lime zest you don't want you want to add that more towards the end because if you cook out lime and lime zest for a while it could turn it bitter so we'll let that come to a simmer our sauce is up to a light simmer here now we're just going to add in a little bit of fish sauce and all the exact measurements like i say are right down below and a, about a tablespoon of tamari or soy sauce and that's why i'm not adding in salt you want to test this uh yourself to see if you need a little extra sodium in that i'm gonna leave that up to you and we'll just stir this together right now just giving amazing amazing amounts of flavor now to that we are going to zest a lime and that is about a a teaspoon of some lime zest that is going to go in there and this just the lime and I this went through my test kitchen a few times and I'm telling you the people were like this is my new favorite this is my new favorite for salmon number one it's easy it's on the table in a matter of minutes and it's most everything that you have in your pantry it's not something crazy right so our zest going right on in the zest of a lime and always remember i've done this in the past zest your lime before you juice it and about two tablespoons of lime juice going right in also there we go there we go come on let's get on in there and i have some cilantro i'm gonna finish this off with we got all of our juice in there it's about two tablespoons let me grab this i have some fresh cilantro i'm throwing in so let's stir this all together oh this sauce really turns out amazing and let's just add our salmon back in so our salmon is going to go finish simmering in there so we'll let that simmer for about three minutes in any of the salmon juices so come up to a simmer let that go for about three minutes and let the salmon finish cooking while our salmon finishes cooking let's talk about this amazing wine it's a pinot grigio from italy terlato wow it has notes of like white peach with like spring flowers let me take a sip wow right off the bat it's very bright which is just perfect with the salmon and this creamy coconut a little bit of a spice from the jalapeno we'll pull back on that I'm getting the white peach and pear and citrus notes too this is amazing wine you're definitely gonna love it and i'm ready to dig in here soon before i eat salmon for lunch <laughs> i would first like to thank all my subscribers and if you're not yet a subscriber hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my recipes and don't forget to like and share because I have a new recipe every week. You want to ring that bell, but I have to dig in here. I can't, I can't wait any longer. I've had this quite a few times in my test kitchen. So I am spooning it. I love to put it over basmati rice, but you can put it however you'd like to do it. I'm having a big spoon of the sauce here. Mmm. oh my goodness. A salmon just turns out so tender and delicious it's like you know how I came up with this this song was going through my mind put the lime in the coconut <laughs> and that's how I came up with this recipe believe it or not so cheers thanks for stopping by wine and dine with Jeff and we'll see you next week